Well done! Your soul shall be mine! I will fight with honor. Three handlocks in a row, I didn't realize this deck would be so popular. Maybe it's because a lot of people are playing Patron still, like getting their fill in before the patch. Oh, I, I haven't run into any patrons streaming today so far, but... This is somewhat as a bluff. It's nice to play secrets just to make it harder. And somewhat because it's actually good. I, I get to play on Dark Bomb on my Knife Juggler. And even if I play Muster in turn 3 and they need Hellfire, so my Juggler comes back. Since I'm playing the Juggler before the Muster tokens. It is kind of weak to like one... The mortal coil first, but that's kind of too complicated at that point. Saving my coin for Mysterious Challenger. It's not like I'm trying super hard for it, but I just kind of curved out naturally like this anyway, so. It's really good if he misses 4 draw. So he either has Mountain Giant in his hand, but not Twilight Drake or Voidcaller, or maybe uh, he doesn't have any one of them, and next turn he'll just play things like Sludge Belcher. Let me think if he can still play Mountain Giant. It's kind of important to think about because I can get a read on his hand. Yeah, he can still play Mountain Giant for 5 right now. But if he had Mountain Giant, I think he wouldn't even have played the Watcher. And now he still would have played the Watcher. It's really expensive to clear this. But if I don't clear it, I'm pretty weak to AoE. I mean, so when I play Mysterious Challenger, it's good to have as many minions as possible on board so you can get competitive spirit value. But <clears throat> let's see. All the possibilities. I still have three minions on board. It might be enough. Who am I? None of your business. I'm not attacking actually. Whatever happens, Noble Sack will go off and taunt this guy anyways. With more minions, I have less chance that this gets hit by Avenge. I'm scared of this getting avenged in Big Game Hunter. So he's just proccing the secret on purpose. But now he doesn't have mana for Big Game Hunter. That's actually weird. You're taking so much more damage there by proccing Avenge. It made sense if he had this just not, not attack. Wow, is he actually dead? I could equality... Consecrate 21. He's oh, he is dead, but if this is Malganus, he survives. If I quality, mm. So I guess it came down to Melganus, but I, I guess I felt like even if it was Melganus, I don't really have the equality of the Melganus since I have high attack minions to deal with Melganus anyways. Because I have two more damage. Let's get rid of True Silver and keep Kings. I think I don't I don't like keeping all of like both of these, they do much the same thing against Druid. If you assume that you do have some board control early, and Kings is better than True Silver against Druid, so if I could only keep one, I'd keep Kings. I feel a little bit uncomfortable not having board control going into turn four with Kings, though, with only a juggler. It's pretty easy to die. You just did not calculate constant damage. Probably, I, mean, I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. It could have been a bunch of different things. Like, I might have calculated Consecrate damage, but not something else. Yeah. 
My never tell. Well met. Could be an aggro druid. I sh might have wanted to think about that more against aggro druid, which is actually common in ladder kind of right now. Could be better to go for a faster opening. I don't like coining on muster, I don't have a good move next turn. Here, even if I get, like sometimes I get a trade, and even if I get keepered, I can play the shredder next turn. It's actually really good to play shredder into call hammer. <laughs> Guess he counters it. I actually don't have a great read what his deck is still because I haven't really seen anything. If he's running Drake, I actually think it's a, it's a slower druid, not an aggro druid. Living Roots is not unusual to see in a slower druid sometimes as well. It's probably just a normal deck actually, like a double combo druid. This matchup is all about board control. Once Palin gets ahead, you can do 30 damage in two turns or three turns. Probably even two turns, so I'm not really worried about getting your face damage at any point. I'm just worried about winning the board. Didn't have a great move to deal with the strike, just had a kings here. I have double kings, so might as well get some value out of it. It's fairly important for me to get the Blessing of Kings on a minion instead of face because of Keeper mm. and just a removal after, but Shredders are extremely hard to remove. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and Coghammer. Actually, Muster first Coghammer. Mm. Yeah, let's not play that slow. Go ahead and Muster first, then Coghammer. I could call camera and make a hero power and then muster next turn, but that replaces the weapon with the worst weapon. It plays around swipe a little bit better. I figure worst case I just make a 5-5 next turn with hero power. Where shall I like one of the big decisions that makes that lets me play like this is me having a Tyrion. It's better to play a little bit safer and slower because of the Tyrion. Looks like a pretty good juggler. Otherwise, I can what kings this? No. Looks like a good equality. I don't get a better equality in this matchup. I want to maximize my chances of hitting that guy since that's by far the most important thing that could happen. Uh, I could have like maximized my chance of hitting any minion, which would effectively just save me a recruit, but none of that is like nearly as important as killing the shade, so I'm like maximizing a small part of RNG like that, which is not even worth it. Put your faith in the light. I'm not just cashing in on all, all my 1-1s one here in my weapon. Because, because of swipe, basically, having a lot of 1-1s one here is a little bit risky. Also, I might want to just use my weapon anyways, because of Tyrion, might replace with Ashbringer. This game might actually come down to me having a lot of board control, but losing to burn damage. So, it's something I consider soon. I don't think he can make a comeback on board that easily with the whole Tyrion ahead and a juggler. But if he silences this, he can definitely threaten to race with combo. Like even if he keepers and plays a Drill Cole, he's still really far behind on board if you count the Blessing Kings. 
So it's kind of unlikely that he can ever make a board come back this game. Oh, okay. I was like, that, that's weird. So he wall growth so he can cycle the second wall growth because he was at 9 mana. Okay, this is like some desperate stuff going on. Kings here, even if it's weak to silence or big game hunter. The interesting thing is if you keep her this first and then big game hunter, it doesn't work because I still get the Ashbringer. But if he just yeah, so like once he keepers he can't big game hunter anymore. And once he big game hunters he dies to the weapon. It's just too much damage to give up. What if I get big game hunter and Harrison? Uh oh, then then I'd be sad. For the Sudoku. I can see. Uther versus Alfurian. I must protect the one. I will fight with honor. So I have some good early game. Mostly looking for like Challenger and Blessing of Kings. Never tell. I will be saving a coin. If I get Asprank and Call Camera, it doesn't make sense to use my coin on, on the Secret Keeper. The thing with these is they absorb a lot of heat, even without secrets. Okay, so I can either coin the Blessing Kings. It would be pretty weak to keep her. If I keep her, I think it would go back to 1 2, not a 1 1, but it's still pretty weak to the keeper. If I muster, I'm weak to swipe. The Kings is a huge payoff in the sense that I can call camera 5-5 five, five, Dwarn Shield. I guess I'm still going to just play Mustard. Well, first things first is probably playing a serious challenger. It does make sense not to attack since I lose some minions, but I guess I don't lose enough minions by attacking. That would be wrong. Because I only lose one number of minion. Normally, you don't want to lose numbers of minions because of competitive spirit, so... Okay. Certainly interesting. It seems like I will will be ignoring this Sylvanas. I, I don't play enough minions to make this steel worth it. Actually, maybe I do muster for battle and attack it. Duty. 
It's not a good one, but not the worst. It's like the second worst. Because the 6 3 can kind of trade with the 7 7. Yeah, it's still pretty bad for me if you have swipe. Is this Crip? I don't, I don't think it's Crip. I'm not sure, actually. Who knows? As a druid, I'm not worried about growing the Seeker, seeker Keeper right now. Alright, let's just get some value from the Seeker Keeper right now. He does have coins, so it's possible to coin swipe anyways. Not that I'm really playing around coin swipe or swipe next turn, but... Either way, you can just swipe next turn. I don't want to do anything that would make me so weak that I lose to a non-swipe hand. So as weak as this is the swipe, I don't like just trading the Seeker Keeper in. Because that would make it weak to just, you know, not even having swipe. Tom Riddle, thanks for subbing. Resubbing. Welcome back to the Strife Crew. Crowfist. I didn't attack this because he could hero power and then trade into my Seeker Keeper and it's like useless to attack. So... I can always attack next turn. The greatest swipe ever. Actually, it wouldn't have been that much different if I traded in. Like, I would have gotten swiped anyways. And this probably still would have been alive anyways. I, I don't think I had the 5 damage. I definitely prefer to have more on board right now before playing competitive. I mean, the Mysterious Challenger. When you do this, it's vulnerable. To BGH. It's really vulnerable to BGH right now. It's like 50% chance that it avenges the Mysterious Challenger. Alright, hopefully <laughs> that doesn't happen. Nice. Still manages for Horker. I didn't really have anything else to do with my mana. Uh, True Sword, and that's not super important, but it's definitely annoying to keep Lightwell up. I can kill for free with minions and use my life as a resource, but ultimately I think that's a little bit too slow, since I can only attack once a turn. I must safeguard the left.
Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. I've almost never lost this matchup. Generally, it's pretty hard to lose this matchup. I think I think what happened was is just the greatest swipe ever, really. I couldn't really develop my mid-game plan. It just kind of fizzled out. I mean, it's not completely over, but I think I need some really lucky draws. I need Divine Favor mostly when he has this many cards. Otherwise, something like Tyrion or Mysterious Challenger. I guess Mysterious Challenger isn't even that good. I'm actually just, well, I'll probably die to combo, but he might have to punch this if he wants to kill it. It's definitely still worth it to cast Blessing on Kings here, since he's getting really low. Hawkhammer is actually almost as good as Muster for Battle in the mirror. If you if you can guarantee your mini bot. This is still correct. Just to contest juggler better. Like I can still lose if even how even if I play redemption into this, into this, even though it sounds good. I still don't do great against a knife juggler, master of battle, and like say something like a noble sack. Okay, so I <laughs> didn't pack. That has to be redemption. Oh, or competitive spirit. Actually, yeah, that makes sense. He could just be mustering here and trying to get a gigantic competitive spirit. I might give him to just burn his competitive spirit here. No, that's dumb. Yeah, it's not actually dumb. The battle. Weapons ready. Cause I don't really have to worry about kings here because of my secret. It's actually much better for for him to for me if he just procs the secrets. Get this avenge going. Also I just get so much stuff here. It might be a redemption actually. It's it is redemption. That's unfortunate, but I guess that it means that I'm not gonna proc this guy. Hard turn, hard turn. I guess, uh... The battle. Muster, uh, what's it? Competitive spirit? Yeah, so that's competitive spirit.
Okay, face damage matters more, even though I could have killed one more 1-1. One, one. He the only way that he can kind of like quote quote punish me is use the life justice to kill us instead of this. But it's just too much damage for him. I think the damage actually is more relevant right now. Yeah, so he has to trade a two 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 anyways and two one, so it's like the same thing. He's at 6. I can do 4 damage here. He still has Avenge left for sure. Noble Sack for sure. I think I should get my equality down while I can. So this 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 takes the... Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna equality here. And since I'd rather these guys... Like I'd rather my face not take that much damage. That was the least damage to take with Noble Sack. And then just Mysterious Challenger next turn. If he plays Dr. Boo, I'm still kind of behind, but it's it wouldn't really... It still would have worked out better for me this way, or pretty much the same. The big thing is not playing here. I might top deck a secret. That would be bad. Because when you play Doctor 6 on 6, there's actually a second benefit. It's not always just the strongest move, but sometimes the secret is important. Another reason why I didn't play the Mysterious Challenger is it's kind of hard to use equality after since I'm hurting my own guy. Oh. Oh, well, I'll need to get the damage in. Either way, I'm attacking. Even if it is Noble Sack Avenge, it'll take me too long. Because <clears throat> I do need to get rid of this Noble Sack. I don't really think it even matters that much whether this is 9, 8, or, you know, whatever. Not sure if this is even probably the other way was better. Since I could threaten lethal still with the seven attack. It was weird. Um Yeah, he could have stayed alive, I think, but I guess he just felt the Doomsayer chances better. Because even if he stayed alive, he'd been in pretty bad shape, probably.